Hey y'all. Alright, so what I'm doing today is a little bit different than my usual. It's actually a how-to video on how to change out just the fuel pump, not the whole assembly, on a 2003 Ford F-250 Super Duty with the 5.4 V8 uh, gas engine. Now, as you can see here, I've already got most of the stuff done already. Um, there's two ways to do this. One, take the bed off, but if you've seen my last video, you'll you know, notice that I don't have you know, a forklift or anything else like that. Um, so, I dropped the tank, um, which in my opinion is the easier way to do this. Um, but I figured I'd shoot this video because when I was looking them up online, I couldn't see you know, a how-to video anywhere because I've never done it before. So I just went off of you know mechanical instinct. Anyway, so here's what we got. Now, originally, you know, you'll have a lock ring on top of the housing but i've already taken mine off um i've actually got to get a replacement one which is a lot more expensive than what i thought it would be but just a little tip go through autozone not o'reilly's because o'reilly's is like 70 bucks for it AutoZone was only 35 so yeah, let's get to it now like I said I've already got most of this done but what you'll need to do yeah what I didn't do yeah blow off all the junk but you'll have let me grab a light You'll have five screws in here uh, that you can get out with a 3/16 your hex bit. So located here, 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 and here. Now, once you have those removed, you can pop off this tab right here, and then squeeze these in and take off that cap. Now, from there, the pump should pull right out. Now, I've already got the new one in there. You yeah, wired up and everything else. Because it wasn't until I was almost done with this, you know, when I realized, hey, I should make a video of it. Because can't find shit otherwise. <laughs> but I'm going to go over to the old pump real quick. And... Just kind of you know, do a mock show of how to get everything switched over. So, one second. Okay, so what I have in front of me is the old pump, which there's a notable you know weight difference between the new one and the old one. The the old one you could tell it's you know a little bit heavier because it's got more stuff in it you know there's no more fuel in it it's just a lot of junk you know taking a look at the old screen you can see that there's a lot of grass and you know a bunch of dirt and everything else on the inside of it but like i said as far as the lock ring i busted mine off i mean if there's a tool that you can get for it otherwise just take a screwdriver kind of tap it the outside a little bit it'll get it loosened up plenty I tapped too hard and broke it but anyway the new pump it'll come without you know these rubber fittings around it so you'll have to put those on yourself um, but make sure you're getting the cap on before you put on your new screen uh, I'd advise, you know, 
just going with you know, new screens, don't try to reuse the old one because you, you can't see anything through it. Whereas compared to the new ones, you know, you can relatively, you know, see through them. So, why put on something that's clogged up when you don't have to? Um, anyway, so, let's head back out front. Yeah, one thing you are going to have to keep in mind before dropping the tank is it's going to be full of fuel. I, mean, I got lucky when my fuel pump went out because I only had a quarter tank in here. But you yeah, try to siphon out as much fuel as you can because that is going to be heavy. Um, yeah, disconnect the negative side of your battery uh, you know, to avoid you know, any sparks you know, to where you go boom. So I don't want anybody going boom. Well, nobody watching this video anyway. <laughs> but you know, taking it off, putting it back on, it you know, shouldn't be too hard. Uh, for your fuel lines, you know, they do make a disconnecting wrench, you know, for the large and small sides. But what I did instead of buying the single wrench for two sides is I got a bunch of these little caps. You know, get a whole packet of it for, I think, $9.00 is what I paid for it you know but comes with the two sizes that you need you know plus a bunch of other ones for any other you know larger projects um, but you can use them for either you know fuel lines or AC lines um, yeah they're pretty handy uh, but I would also advise what the hell? I couldn't have sworn I just seen some. Oh, dog. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, um, I would advise changing out your fuel filter uh, while you're at it. Uh, might as well get all new things underneath there. Uh, but like I said, I'd already got just about everything done by the time I started filming this video and it occurred to me that nobody else had one up if you have any questions uh, leave them in the comments or if you don't have a channel to where you can leave comments you can get a hold of me on Instagram Twitter or Facebook um, Instagram PR Texas Outdoors or on Twitter, also at PR Texas Outdoors. Uh, the YouTube channel name, er, I'm sorry, the Facebook channel page is uh, Private Road Texas Outdoors. Um, yeah, get a hold of me on there. Yeah, any questions, uh, comments? or any tips of your own also appreciated but i'm gonna call that it for this video i uh, hope i hope it was helpful if not well let me know um if you're new to the channel hit that like button comment subscribe and y'all have a good one good luck and take care bye